Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of TV8 Sports. UW Sheboygan Girls Volleyball. Tonight we have a triangular matchup with UW Sheboygan playing against UW Waukesha in the first match. I'm your host, Jonathan Wickert. Alongside me is Rachel LaFerb and coach Penny Maletsky. And UW Sheboygan coming out ready to kick butt. Now this should be quite a great game, I believe. And your officials for tonight are Perry Kotke and Dave Dykstra. <coughs> your line officials are Andrew Stewart and Will Fisher. Serving first will be UW Sheboygan, Jackie Kramer. Three ball over for Sheboygan, Kramer. Setting up Rachel Afferb on that attack. And point, UW Sheboygan. Sheboygan off to a good start. Let's see if they can get on their streak. We should man mention right away that this is a rally game. Meaning that whenever a team scores, they score right away. And Waukesha coming out swinging point. Waukesha with the serve. <laughs> nice effort by UW Sheboygan. Point Waukesha. Serving for Waukesha is number eight, Alyssa Stroik. Set by Kramer. Very, very close. Unibus Schwoigen doing well to come out swinging right away and get that offensive momentum building. Oh, beautiful, beautiful play. Rachel LaFerb with that point. Right there is how you should play volleyball. Bump, set, spike. Paige Wirico with the serve. You're quite right about that, Bob. Tends to work out a little better. That was Tammy Miller with the attack there. Jessica Karras, nice swing. Three ball over. And no return, point UW Sheboygan. The score is three to three. Serving again for Sheboygan will be Paige Wirico. I must say that was pretty intense there. They had a volley going, didn't they? And a slap by Waukesha, Amber Pearlberg. Go, 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 go! Nicely over by Rachel LaFerb. And Rachel again. Nice. Wow. Well done by Sheboygan. Swinging well this game. They have struggled in the past to get the swings going, but they got the swings going early this game. Another serve by Weirko. And Waukesha not too organized there. Oh. And as I speak of organization, UW Sheboygan just Let's it fall. That was definitely a miscue on their part. Let's see if they can get that point back. That was Rachel Church for Waukesha with the serve. Side out point, Waukesha. Sheboygan four, Waukesha five. Paige Wirico with a nice back row hit. Nice save. And a nice attempt by Gabriel's, by Gabriel's from Sheboygan. Nice attempt. And a nice, nice attack by Karras. Hang on. Hang on. Okay, 
Yeah, we got a break in the action. Clear up some technicalities. Sheboygan coming out well, swinging. Let's see if they can keep this up, get their streak going, and get their first win of the uh, the first win of this match. This is a two out of three for this triangular matchup. Let's see if Sheboygan can sweep Waukesha. Let's hope the Wombats can stay focused for the rest of this game and pull out this win. Well, it's early, and well, with Rally scoring, it can go quick, uh, scoring up to 30. Games can go quick, however, they can uh, tend to drag. This being a triangular matchup, Bob, we'll have to see. This could be a long night. If they go all the way to the full best out of three, these teams are going to play a lot of volleyball tonight. Scores up to 30. Wow. When they get the point on their side, because they were serving, they almost have the score cleared up here. They've got it right on the board. They're just going to clean it up on the paper. Just a little bit of a technical problem. Not too severe. If you notice, uh, Kramer is the setter for Sheboygan. You'll notice she will have the second ball or the set. Most often, uh, so you'll see her setting a lot. And let's see who keeps swinging in the game. Uh, Shibogan's back with the serve. Amy Gabriel's with the serve. Oh, nice block by Tammy Miller up front. Terrace is long. They got to take a little bit off of that. Seven for that a one. little bit. Just got a little too much guns on that one. Yes. <laughs> walk show that was Oganoff serving. It's a nice dig by Oganoff. Oh, look at that. I did not see that coming. walk show lets one fall. Serving for Sheboygan is Rachel Lafern. And long point, Waukesha. Score is Sheboygan six, Waukesha eight. That's surprising to see Rachel go along on her serves. She does have 31 kills so far this year. Point Sheboygan serving is Jessica Karras. There's Paige Wirico with that one. Oh, beautiful. From Waukesha. That's number eight, Alyssa Stroik. Saw her in warm up. She is. She does have quite the arm. She will be swinging for Waukesha. This Karis serves for Sheboygan. Ooh, there's a beautiful ace. Beautiful ace. Putting it over. Sheboygan fires back by the wall. And point Sheboygan. Scores now Sheboygan 10, Waukesha 8. Jessica has 26 kills for the year as she serves again. Just barely, but Sheboygan gets the point. This is a beautiful run for Sheboygan. Sir, 
A little late on the set. And there's the call. The official calls the carry. And a nice serve. Out of Karras. Set a little short. And Stroy from Waukesha swinging again. Boygan still very offensive and looking, looking good. Tammy Miller puts it long. And a free ball. Let's see what Sheboygan can do. A short set. Oh. Now that puts the score 13 Sheboygan, 8 Waukesha. A short set by Miller on that one, but Kramer able to get under and get the ball over. Ooh. Tough break for Sheboygan. Harris puts in the net. Point Waukesha. Serving for Waukesha. And point Sheboygan. There's Tammy Miller. Step up the serve. Side in. Point Sheboygan. Put it over again. That was Stroik from Waukesha swinging away at it. She's got the arm, but not that time. Tammy Miller from Howard's Grove, a freshman, standing at a whopping five foot four. And Kramer cleans that one, one up and puts it over. As Waukesha lets it drop, the score is now 17-9. Sheboygan's making a beautiful run here. Miller puts it deep in the corner. Gabriel is just Gabriel's just cannot come up with that one. That's a tough one to play. Set by the curb. Nice attack by Kramer. That's a beautiful kill. Score now 18 to 10 in favor of Sheboygan. Serving will be Kramer. Good solid serve. Waukesha unorganized. Puts it over his free ball. Beautiful set. And Laferb is long. Nice attack. Just a little long. And serving for Waukesha. Alyssa Strike. Set by Kramer and Laferb. Taps it over. A little touch of finesse in that one. Right, right, right there. Score is now 22-11. Sheboygan leading once again. We're going to serve. <laughs> and in the nets. <laughs> and serving for Waukesha. Number two, uh, Church. And a nice swing by Sheboygan. Lockshaw well, gets organized and comes out swinging. Let's see, looks like Sheboygan could have a good answer for that. The offense of Lockshaw. Let's see if they can take that. And a nice attempt by Karras. I do believe part of the strategy with Sheboygan is to wear out Waukesha, since which Waukesha is short two players today. Karras trying to go cross-court in the last attack, and 
But with Ferb, Wirico gets under the ball, but cannot come up with it. Nice attempt by Wirico there. Waukesha clawing to get back in this game. Walk Boy, just better can't. be careful here. They only have a four-point lead at this point. And Sheboygan calls timeout. They want to put a stop to this run. Volleyball is a game of streaks. Let's see if Sheboygan can stop this streak. We'll see how Waukesha does tonight. They are playing with just enough players, with just six people. Let's see if they get worn out later in the match. Sheboygan coming out strong, swinging a lot, has the offense rolling. Waukesha just getting going in the offense. Let's see if Sheboygan has an answer for it. They do have some height on their team. Yeah, Sheboygan does have the tallest person playing right now. Yeah. Six foot Sarah. Six foot Sarah Worthman. Let's see if she can get up there and Put up some good blocking in the middle. Waukesha serves. It was uh, Rachel Church. Gabriel, Gabriel's put that one down. Rachel Church is Waukesha's tallest player at 5'11". Yes, Gabriel will serve now. She's from Sheboygan Christian. 5'8 middle hitter, a freshman. Nice tip over. Shaboy looking very organized so far this game. Mm. Little miscommunication there between Miller and the Kramer. Score now is 21 to 17. Let's see if Shaboy can get the serve back and keep this keep this game rolling in their favor. Serving for Walker Shaw, Elizabeth Oganoff. We got a little stoppage time here. A little, little moisture on the floor. I imagine that's like, oh, it's on, or the, on the ball, ball I on the ball. I thought it was on the floor. You know, it is quite a hot day out today, and beautiful out. <laughs> and here we go. Oganoff put the ball in, in play. with the bump set. And Wirico puts it over. Free ball, let's see what she can do with it. Kramer sets it. Karras tries to go cross court again. Oh, the blockers were up. Man, was up. tried the digger there, but she came just short. Hitting cross court again. There you go. And a block by Referb. Free ball for Walker Show. Let's see if they get organized. And set over. Nice save by Paige Wirico there. Set by Kramer. Taps it over. Point Sheboygan. A nice rally there for both teams. A lot of hustle. Serving is Laferb. And into the net. In the net again. It was either Laferb or Gabriel's that I saw in uh, warm up. It was hitting the jump serve. Let's see if they bring that out. Playing off the net, off the net nicely. Karras gets the night in the net. Lyrico tries to take on the wall. That's a tough one to take on. Yes, Waukesha has now cut the lead by two. Waukesha is definitely back in this game. Shemorgan needs to get, oh. No, no communication on the floor. The Achilles heel right there. 22-21, Waukesha very much in this game all of a sudden. Sheboygan in control early. Long point, Sheboygan. 
Let's see if they can put this one away. Serving will be Karras for Sheboygan. Nice shot from Karras. Ace. Beautiful ace. You think she's got six more of those in her hip pocket? Let's hope so. Jessica has ten aces now so far for this year. Nice Another nice serve out of Karras. Waukesha swinging along. For Waukesha, that was Alyssa's strike again. Sheboygan's got to stay strong to put this game away. Let's see if Karras puts the ball back in play. Another nice serve, soft serve right there. Roll. Set by Miller. Free ball, let's see if Sheboygan can get organized. Ooh, and Kramer puts it into the net. one drop. Sheboygan 25, Waukesha 23. Wow, this is a very close match. Teams are very evenly matched here. Whoever gets strong at the end of the game is going to put this one away. Miracle puts it over. And strike, swinging again. Point, Waukesha. Short Sheboygan serve. needed that. They did. Short serve from Waukesha. Point Sheboygan. Miller, she had some solid, solid serves before. There's another one. Quick reactions by Sheboygan. Swings away for Waukesha there. Sheboygan lets it fall. I thought Sheboygan was going to have that one there for a minute. Oh, and timeout Sheboygan. Coach Maletsky wants to get this team back on the streak here. Tied at 26 all now. Sheboygan was very much in control early and during the middle of the match has let it just slip away a little bit. Let's see if Sheboygan can get fired up again and get swinging, get some points on the board and take this first game. As you can see, there's a few fans that came out to watch the game, support Sheboygan Wombats. It's always glad to see Sheboygan's fans come out. A good crowd tonight, the very team. vocal. A vocal crowd. Let's hope these Wombats can pull a win for this crowd. Here we go, Wombats come out, fired up and ready to go. As Miller puts that one over. That was scary there for a minute. And Stroik swinging hard. Oh. Kramer up for the block, but it falls. No one there to clean up on the, on the tips. Sheboygan in the past had struggled getting its blockers up, but tonight they're getting up for the block. Sheboygan ties it up with that one. Point Sheboygan. Kramer makes her way back in the service line. Ball is a little bit moist again. Oh, 
Oh, my bad. It's not the ball this time, it's the floor. Sheboygan looking to get their first win. They've been struggling in the past, but have improved greatly. Let's see if the Wombats can get some points and close up this game, close up this game right here. Take a one-nothing lead in the match. Terrence with the bump. Kramer at the set. And Wirko taps it over. Let's go. Sheboygan steals the lead once again. Kramer makes her way back to the line. Solid. Side in, point Sheboygan. Nice serve by Kramer. That's exactly what Sheboygan needed to do right now. Right on game point. Let's see if Kramer can do it again. The momentum has swung back to Sheboygan at this point. Point Sheboygan. Sheboygan takes a one nothing lead in the first match. This crowd is loving it. See you can hear the crowd going. That's the first game in our first match. Sheboygan takes a one nothing lead in the match. And we'll be back with game two of this first matchup of UW Sheboygan versus UW okay, Aaron, versus Waukesha we will do Tech. That. It's gonna do just a quick three minutes of E-file, get receipt confirmation and a quicker refund. E-file, or tell your tax preparer to do it for you. And join the 60 million e-filers who consider it done. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to TV8 Sports. UW Sheboygan Women's Volleyball, Game 2. UW Sheboygan playing Waukesha County Technical, County Technical College. Waukesha to serve in this second game of best of three matchup. In the first game, Sheboygan came out swinging. Let's see if they can do it again here. That was a very close match last game. Sheboygan did pull it off. They had momentum going throughout the majority of the game. Almost lost momentum at the end, but they ended up pulling it off. Sheboygan off to a bumpy start. That's all right. Sheboygan started off kind of bumpy in the beginning of the last game. They got their ass together and pulled off the win. Ooh. And a nice hit by Gabriels. Oh. And the carry by Lefebvre. Sporgan cannot let the lead fill up too much. Here's Sheboygan in their first point in this game. Before Megan Mielice in the game, an outside hitter, standing 5'2", a freshman from Random Lake. Serving is Paige Wirico. Nice save. Robinson is hitting for Waukesha. That ties it up. Two Full piece right now. We're at two all with Wirico with Wirico walking back to the line. Let's hope this momentum sticks with Sheboygan. That was Robinson with that one. Wirico puts it. Oh, look at that. Beautiful drop with the ball. That's a drop point in Sheboygan. That's four unanswered points for Sheboygan. Definitely the momentum has gone Sheboygan's way. Strong 
strong at the net was Karras. Waukesha called for the net violation. Point Sheboygan. Sheboygan keeps this up. It's going to be a quick game. That was Pearlburn to put that one over Point Waukesha. Pearlberg with a serve for Waukesha. And a free ball. Robinson swinging for Waukesha. Nice attempt by Karras. Waukesha ties it up right there. Five apiece. Pearlberg to serve for Waukesha. Pearlberg's an outside hitter. That's a point, Sheboygan. Two for four. We got a sub there. S X. Believe that was Sarah Worthman. They have Sarah Worthman listed as an outside hitter here at six foot. She's a freshman from Plymouth. Let's see if she can add to that middle blocking. And pictured right there, we have Andrew Stewart, one of the line judges. Strong serve by Gabriel. Miracle with the bump, Kramer with the set, and Karras with the attack. Oh! A little bit of missed timing on that one. Waukesha serves it into the net. <laughs> Serving is the yeah, fever. And strike from Waukesha, swings big. Karras oh. tries to get blocked in that one. Double hitting on that one. Double hit by Sheboygan gives point Waukesha. Walking back to the line for Waukesha. Elizabeth Olganoff. She's a middle hitter, 5'5. Five five, and a freshman from Kettle Marine. And over the line for Sheboygan. That's kind of like misformation there. Basically, is Sheboygan set up wrong. Uh, one of the players had to be in the backcourt stepping over the line, and she wasn't. Uh. So they get called on that one. And Kramer with that puts that one down. That was dug by Waukesha. Worthman puts it over. Strike taps it back over for Waukesha. Karras punches it over. Quite the volley we're having here. A big swing by Strike for Waukesha. Sheboygan defends it well. Robinson from Waukesha puts it down. Wirico gets down on the deck for that one. We cannot come up with it. The score now is seven to nine. Sheboygan's losing. This isn't good. Bob, gotta remember, volleyball, it's a game of streaks. That's true. And an ace by Waukesha. And with that support from the fans, Sheboygan gets another point. It was Waukesha in the net. That was Rachel Church in the net. Harris with a good serve for Sheboygan. And Wirico puts it over for Sheboygan. Robinson for Waukesha swing, big. Off the net, Wirico cannot come up with it. Point Waukesha. Okay. 
Serving for Waukesha is Church. Church from Waukesha North. And Point Waukesha. The score now is 8 to 12. Church puts it back in for Waukesha. Let's see if Sheboygan can come and steal the points back here. Sheboygan had its blockers up. Kramer puts it over. In points, Sheboygan. A nice attack by Kramer. Beautiful kill. And coming in for Sheboygan is Megan Muleis. Coming out, Sarah Worthman. Megan stands in a whopping 5-2. This is their first year playing for the Wombats. Muleis to serve. She drops one in nicely. As a hitter for Waukesha, that's Alyssa Stroik. She has been their go-to hitter, decides to set one over. Muleis puts it in play. Nice block by Sheboygan and the carry. It's one of those hustle situations that you just end up getting caught in right there. It's almost a heartbreak when that happens. You get the block, but it just doesn't fall over the net for you. A little confusion about Walker's on there, and Sheboygan digs it nicely. Karis puts it over nicely from the back row. Tipped over, and Kramer cannot come up with it. I believe that ball just hit the ref up right there. Put the official in the game, huh, Bob? Yes. And Stroik with a booming serve. Sheboygan definitely has the blockers up at the net. And it pays off. Sheboygan's right up there in the net. As Gabriel, Gabriel puts it over there. Three blockers up in the net for Sheboygan there. Kramer to serve it. Serving at 11-14. Yes. Yes. Nice yes. serve by Kramer. With beautiful the ace. ace. Beautiful ace. Let's hope, let's hope they can keep that up. Yeah. Nice serve by Kramer. Walkershaw does have an answer for that serve. That was Pearlberg for Waukesha putting that one over. If you guys have forgotten the score, it is 12 Sheboygan, 15 Waukesha. Set by Kramer. Put over by the Fever. Pearlberg gets a good swing on that one. Ooh, on a tight, on a tight set. And Sheboygan gets called for the net violation. Nice, nice hustle by Shibuya. I thought that was a tough call. Very, very close. It was a close one. <laughs> Set by Kramer. Shibuya comes out swinging there. Come on! Wierko taps that one over. Shibuya with <laughs> And it just falls in. Shibuya did have its blockers up there. Coach Maletsky does not look happy about that one. She is off out of her seat. Not at all. Get it! Get it! Yeah! Robinson, I believe. Robinson, no, excuse me, Dross from Waukesha. The big swinger, Dross from Waukesha. We're going back at the line. Yeah! Draw swing it again, and Megan, Megan Millis cannot come up with that. Sheboygan hustling with the hustle out there. Good hustle out of Sheboygan. Sheboygan is still down by five, but we're just waiting for their nice little streak coming up. Pearlberg to put the ball in play. That was Megan Millis, she's stuck in position there. I don't think the line judge was ready for that one. That one probably caught him pretty quick. Oh, 
there, splits that one over well. It almost caught Marcus off guard there. Three ball for Schwagen. Oh. Harris takes a big swing into the net. Timeout, Sheboygan. This one getting away from him rather quickly. Let's see if Sheboygan can claw its way back in this game. They controlled the first game early on, let it slip a little in the end, but came back to get the win of the first game. I really think Sheboygan needs this timeout. They need to regroup and get more organized here. Sheboygan did show strong organization in the first game. They have definitely improved from the last game. They've definitely been getting the bumps that spike rhythm down. Let's see if Sheboygan can just get a stop to, these, to this Waukesha team and get on their own streak. I think once they get on their own streak, they'll be running running for the boards. I believe you are correct. sheboygan has been doing a wonderful job attacking the Nets. It's just not going their way right now. They had a couple blocks not fall their way. Uh, you know, a little, little heartbreaker there. Yeah, you could say that. As Sheboygan comes out of the huddle yelling, side out. Let's see if this timeout helps them at all. Let's hope it does. Let's see what answers they come up with. Pearlberg to put it back in play for Waukesha. Come on! I'm sure Sheboygan wants to close this match out in this game. And Wirico can come up with that one. Point Waukesha, 21-13 in favor of Waukesha. Fans are trying to give some support for Schwagen. It's a nice set by Kramer there. Team of people. Megan oh. Mule is not able to get to that ball. I think Schwagen right there was caught a little bit out of position. It's playable, it's playable. That's interesting. Is it, if, the, if the ceiling makes contact on your side, it comes back down, it's playable. Kramer has a nice bump there. Oh. Jericho just cannot get it over. I thought for sure after Sheboygan went through the basketball hoop, they were going to pull that one off. But I guess I was wrong. Sheboygan struggling to find an answer for that serve. Sheboygan needs to be to regroup as they're down by 11 at this point now. The way that ruling goes, Bob, uh, if the ball makes contact with the ceiling in your side of that and comes back down in your side of that, if you have hits left, it's still playable. Fascinating. It's a good thing to know. Let's see if Sheboygan can hopefully get back in the form they had in the first, first game of this match. I think they might have to call a timeout. So. Oh. It's about time something falls Sheboygan's way. For Sheboygan. I believe they're having a substitution here. Four. Out comes Megan Mulis. Walking in is Sarah Worthman. Hopefully Sarah can make some sort of difference in the outcome of this game. Take easy breath. And sure, he has to take a timeout. Looks like Paige Wirko might have a little asthma attack. This is quite a dramatic moment. Let's hope that she will be all right and be able to come back into the game. Let's see if Schwein can maybe get things together and get back on a roll here. We'll see if Paige is going to be all right. Never a good sign when you have a player come off the court like that. Kind of came out of nowhere. Scared me a little bit. And Sheboygan's gonna be putting in a sub. 
six substitutions. They're going to put in Tammy Miller, and they're going to take Paige Wierko out of the game. Paige's had a, had a good game so far. Let's see if Tammy can bring a spark off the bench here. Worthman in to get some blocking up front. And Gabriel's to serve for Sheboygan. I believe that's uh, Amanda Gabriel's who's up to serve. Let's see if she can get an ace. And she did. Bob, you called it. There you go. There we go. What's Sheboygan needed? See if they can get on their horse and ride here. Sheboygan now down by 10. But I believe they're going to make a run here. Swinging. What's the call? Point Waukesha. Oh, I thought that was out. I wish I had replayed in this sport, but they don't. Joss to serve for Waukesha. Nice save. Oh. The score is now 27 15, Waukesha with the lead. it twice on Waukesha, but the first hit was a block, and after a block, you can hit it again. Nice. That's right, Bob. Oh. Another point to Morgan, no return from Waukesha. Keep it up, Rachel. Waukesha looks like they're getting a little bit tired right now. The fever with the serve here. Strike for Waukesha, the big swing. Doesn't get over the net. Point Sheboygan. Do it again, Rachel. Do it again. Sheboygan right up in the net for that one. Nice. And draw swing for Waukesha. Oh. Oh. Nice attempt by Sheboygan. back to line for Waukesha. It would be Elizabeth Olganoff. She's a middle hitter, 5'5", five, five, first year from Kettle Moraine. And Kramer with a nice hit there. Tammy Miller with a nice dig on the, off of the big hitter of Stroy. No, it's a bump. Gay Rose from the set. Harris with the attack. This is quite the volume we got yeah. going here again. Oh. And a big hit by Shroy from Waukesha. Let's hope they can get a quick stop to her like they have in the first game. They did not let her get hitting. This game is a lot different from the first game. I must say that. And Stroik to hit again. There it is. She Stroik for Waukesha hit right through that block put up by Workman. And that would be our game. 30 to 18, Waukesha takes that game. This is a best of three. That was the second game out of three. So we'll, be right, we'll be right back with the third game and let's see if Sheboygan can take this match. Receipt confirmation and a quicker refund. 
e-file, or tell your tax preparer to do it for you. And join the 60 million e-filers who consider it done. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Game 3. TV8 Sports, UW Sheboygan Women's Volleyball. We have UW Sheboygan playing Waukesha Technical College. UW Sheboygan took the first game in this match with a commanding force. However, they just lost the second game. We saw some big hitting from Waukesha in that second game. Let's see if Sheboygan can have an answer for that big hitting. Oh, Waukesha continues with the big hitting. There's that hitting we were talking about. Sheboygan has been hitting themselves. They've been hitting right from the start. They've been scoring their points. And they've been hitting right up in the net. You see Weirik go back in the game. She left the previous game uh, getting the wind knocked out of her. Gabriel with a nice attack at the net. Hopefully Sheboygan can keep its players at the net attacking like that. Give Sheboygan's first point for this final match. Weirik off serves. Nice dig by Miller. Harris puts it up. The people puts it over. Slaps it back. Let's see what Shavoy can do. And Shavoy taps it back over. And a nice attack by the Fever. And Karras with a nice crossbow attack. Wow. They're just going back and forth on this one. Number four should be serving. Number four should be serving right now, from what I understand. Yeah, I kind of got it. <laughs> oh, they're fixing the rotation. The officials are uh, fixing the rotation. Uh, they rotated uh, prematurely. So we're back in the uh, proper rotation. And Oganoff will serve this one again. Sheboygan can't answer that serve. Let's see if they get a fire started and get it burning. Let's see if they get Karras swinging. The score right now is 2-6. to six. Sheboygan is down. Set by Kramer. Karras to swing. Waukesha, a little unorganized. Oh, there we go. Point, Sheboygan. Let's see if they get on their streak. I like seeing Sheboygan right in that attack in that ball. Sheboygan very, very, now has built a, a little bit of a presence at the net there. Fever serves. It's getting a nice little set here. And Kara swings again. Got blocked, though. They call it. That was called in. Uh oh. Very close calls in this last final game. Rachel Church serving for Waukesha and serve doesn't make it over the net. Point Sheboygan and serve Sheboygan. That, that must be a disappointment when you your serve doesn't even make it to the net. Cares to serve. And she returns it back into the net. Okay, now we're gonna be changing sides. As the teams switch sides. So we have Waukesha serving. 
Alyssa Strike's going to serve. Alyssa's been the uh, big hitter for Waukesha this match so far. John, maybe you can help me out here. I'm lost. Why did they switch ties at this moment? At the uh, point swap at the end of, uh, it's in the third match. I see. And a big swing from Waukesha. Tammy Miller digs it. And the fear puts it over, points to Borgen. I think the switch is a good thing for Sheboygan. If you notice in other two games, it seems this side is always the winning side. Miller to put the ball in play. Oh, the blockers almost. were up. The blockers were up, Bob. And they almost had it. Came really close, just rolled off the arm. That's frustrating. You work so hard to get in position, get up there, and the block just rolls off your arm like that. Arkansas puts the ball in play. Kramer with a nice attack. Oh! Now that's a beautiful kill. Beautiful kill. Point Sheboygan. Sheboygan is only down by three right now. And a score of six to nine. Kramer to put the ball in play. Nice serve from Kramer. Miracle nice. taps it over. Easily handled by Waksha. Kramer is set. Gabriel is to swing on that one. Sporgan's putting the ball all over the court right now. Set but by Kramer. Karras with a nice attack on that one. Harris tries the attack again. It just comes up a little short. Look at that. That's set a little bit out of her reach on that one. Sheboygan is looking great. It's just they're not, they're not scoring there. Come on. Wierko puts that one over. Oh. Sheboygan calls a timeout here. Draws for Waukesha has been kind of a problem for Sheboygan here. Let's see if they can get a return on her attacks. The score at this point is 6 to 11. Sheboygan is down. At the break, though, it is a it is a tight game. Both sides scrapping for their points. It has to be noted at that point. Sheboygan looking like they're going to get organized here. Hopefully, they come out with something and pull out this first, the win of the first, uh, win the first match of the evening. Uh, we also have, after this match, Sheboygan will be playing against Washington County. That should be quite the game. Let's hope Sheboygan can pull this one off. Serving for Waukesha. Amber Pearlberg. Set by Kramer. Nice attack by Sheboygan. Gets them the point. Nice job by Amy Gabriels. Spoken definitely needed that one. Fire up now, let's go! Let's see if the Wombats will fire up. Yeah. And point Waukesha. Dross, that big big hitter there. Dross will, will be serving for Waukesha. She has some power behind her hips. Harris taps that one over for point. Wombat. She just dropped that one in perfectly. Between the defenders. Can't ask for more than that. A little finesse instead of power on that one. Oh. I believe that was Gabriel's with the ace. Puts that one in. There we go, Wombat. Let's see if she can do it again. 
Rich. William takes control of this game. Another nice serve out of him. And strike goes oh. up swinging. Sheboygan up for the block, but can't pick it up. They're getting so close with that. It's just... That was a scary moment yeah, there. That one. Terrence put, puts that one long. Oganoff puts that one in play for a walk shot. Karras with a set. Or Fever puts that one over. And strike, swings back and Oh, that one is long. Point Sheboygan. Sheboygan's only down by four at this point. Let's hope they can make a comeback right here. The Fever puts the serve in. A nice serve by the Fever. Oh, Kramer puts it down at the net. That was a great kill. Great kill. Sheboygan on their streak. Let's see how long they can ride it. Another nice serve out of the Fever. That's the Karras swinging there. Holding off for Walker Show. Kramer sets Miller. Miller taps it over for a little skill shot. Walker Show is out of place. It's People were on the floor there. Sheboygan couldn't capitalize on Waukesha being out of place. And that is... <laughs> game? And that that's is the, game. That's the third game. Sheboygan losing the yeah. third game out of the first match. 11 to 15, that was a heartbreaking match right there. Sheboygan loses the first match. Taking the first game, losing the last two games. Stay tuned as we will bring you Sheboygan, UW Sheboygan playing Washington County. Gentlemen, and welcome back to UW Sheboygan TV8 Sports. We have the UW Sheboygan Women Wombats playing against tonight's opponent, Washington County. Now, for Washington County, we have Ashley Hennings, Brennan, uh, I'm sorry, Brianne Basson, Lisa Ashworth, Kelly Burt, Teresa Okendine. Katie uh, Men Menning Hall, Shannon Gorg, and Coach Buchlik. And for UW Sheboygan, we will have Tammy Miller, Sarah Worthman, Jessica Karras, Megan Mulis, Stephanie Kimmy, Paige Wirico, Jackie Kramer, Amy Gabriel, and Rachel Feber. Now, UW Sheboygan played um, this is their second match of the night. Uh, coming into uh, their previous loss, and hopefully they can pull a, a good offense, get rolling early, and get this, get this, get a win here in the final third match of this triangular uh, matchup. This will be our final match of the evening. Wow, these ladies seem like they're fired up for this game. Well, let's see if they keep the spark of glowing. Uh, Sheboygan will serve first. Jackie Kramer is at the service line. Wow, this game's off to a fast start already, I see. We're just getting some things situated on the floor. And 
Here we go. Looks like the refs are ready to blow the whistles. Good serve by Kramer. Okrasinski puts one over. Karras with a good... good. Rear goal puts it over. They're just going back and forth with this volley here. Nice save. And point Sheboygan. Sheboygan strikes right away. Right off the bat. Washington County is sitting at four and five. Right now they're looking to add, take one from Sheboygan. Sheboygan looking to pick up his first win. Sheboygan right back in that net with that block. Puts one down. Spogan looks like they're fired up for this game as they begin 2 0. Oh. I think they're ready to take a, to get a win out of this match. <laughs> and around the block, Sheboygan up with the block, but Washington County able to hit around that block. I must say, Washington County does do a good job on communication. They're always talking to each other out there. Set by Kramer. And Gabriel's put it over. Washington County is hitting. Karras puts it. Ooh. That was just a little bit wide. And that was Alyssa Henning at the service line for Washington County. Paige Wierko stepping up to the line for Sheboygan. Now this is one thing with Paige, she's the only sophomore that plays for UW Sheboygan. Oh, Krasinski swings away again. And Karras swings long. Short ball, Sheboygan handles it. See if it can oh. over, and it's over. Sheboygan tipped that one. Point Washington. I must say, both teams look very unorganized in that series. Five point. Sheboygan pulls off the point there. And there we go for Sheboygan. Point Sheboygan. Set by Miller. Lefebvre puts that one over. Over Zeski, and we have contact. Point Sheboygan, Oka. That was a great point. Sheboygan got right up in the net. Walker's inch from Washington is taking a little too far. No, oh. Well, Sheboygan got to work on that. They can't go along like that every time. Nice save. They set something up there, but they were a little bit too crowded. This time, Sheboygan was caught in the net. 
It's Brianna Bastion putting that one up for slip for the serve. And Washington just taking too many hits to get it over. And Sheboygan has tied the game at seven up all. Coming in for Washington is Kelly Burnt. Now, I must say they have her listed at 5'7", but I, I do have to disagree with that. Uh, you can see her in the white in the libero uniform. 5'7"? Uh, mm. I find that hard to believe, too. In the meantime, point Sheboygan. You might want to mention what actually the libero does for uh, Washington here. You notice Sheboygan doesn't use a libero. No, they don't have one. A typical libero is a specialty player. Um, brought in in certain situations. Tip one could be to play the back row. Uh, oh, and Sheboygan saves that one. Wow. Helps to be a little quick, I guess. Gabriel's pumps that up. Wow, now that's a block. Washington is swinging. Good block by Sheboygan. Oh, that's absolutely what you need from Sheboygan. Blocks right up front. Sheboygan's going to have to do a lot of blocking because Washington is already swinging. Okrasinski has already had a couple hacks from Washington. And side out point Washington. The score, Sheboygan 10, Washington 8. Now in the last match, you did see Sheboygan go up and try for the blocks, but they had a couple heartbreaks on getting the blocks. Jackie Kramer, that's cross court there. Washington tips it over. Jackie sets it. Ooh. That was, that was nice. Nice placement. She just snuck that one over the net. She knew where she wanted to put it and put it right in the spot. And Terrence is back to serve for Sheboygan. Serving 11-8. Oh, Krasinski with the ball. Net violation of Sheboygan Point, Washington County. And serving would be Kelly Burns for Washington. And Sheboygan puts that one over. They're just out of the reach. Burton puts the ball in play with a nice serve. Gave us the bump. We're not going to get stuck with that, but Snacks win it. Out of bounds. Washington ties the game up with that point at 11 all. And a tough serve. Gabriel's handled the serve. Point Washington, 12 11 Washington. Ooh. And a nice, nice placement there by Lefebvre. That was a beautiful tip. Everybody thought she was going cross court with it, and she just tips it a little bit another end. And Miller to put this one in play. Oh. Gabriel just gets caught up in the net there and with a double hit, point Washington. 12-13 in favor of Washington. Serve into the net, point Sheboygan. I must say this is a fast scoring game right here. We are already at 13 all. Let's see if Sheboygan can get on their streak. There we go, 14-13, Sheboygan with Kramer serving. Ooh. Washington takes a hack there. 
That was number three, Brianna Baston. Set by Kramer. Miller puts it over. And that will be a point for Sheboygan there. Coming from Miller. Tammy Miller listed at five foot four, an outside hitter. First year from Howard's Grove. These teams are just going back and forth for these points. Miracle puts it in play. And they set it to Okrasinski. He does not put it over. Set it to Krasinski and it's out. It was nice effort on her part, but luckily for us, it becomes one bad point. Coming off the middle hitter, that was number three, Brianna Baston. Brianna Baston, a middle hitter. Listed as six foot from Kiwasco, a freshman. A little psych out there. Oh. Here we see again Sheboygan fighting right at the net, going for the block. Sheboygan. A nice serve by Amy Gabrielis. The two aces now for Amanda Gabrielis. Wow, she's on a roll here. Let's see if she can pick up the third one. You know, if this was bowling, you would call this a turkey if she would pick this up. Well, don't call Trace before the hatch, but points to Boygan. Take it with him any way you can get it, right, Bob? Oh, absolutely. Gabriel puts it back in play, and... Another ace. ace. Washington thought that was out. Just caught the end line. Sheboygan now leads 22 to 15. Washington pulls out a little tip over, catches Sheboygan out of place for the point. I must say, this game does remind me of Sheboygan's first match of the night. Let's see if Sheboygan can keep the momentum going, though, and get the win. Kramer with the bump. Karras. And points Sheboygan. Um, well, actually, that's Point in Washington County. I believe that hit was out from Karras. the correct score? All right, 22 17 once we get the scoreboard straight. It might take a minute. We're working on the scoreboard right now. That was a confusing play there. I can understand the confusion. I was lost myself. Ball went out through the, didn't make it back into play. Tough serve to handle there. Kramer puts it over. Oh. 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 swings big but hits long. Points Sheboygan. Washington had a little psych out there, but did not face Sheboygan whatsoever. <laughs> and a nice attempt on the dig there by the Feber. Serve. No. A nice catch by Kramer. 
You gotta love those kills right there. And Karras will put the ball in play. Coming in for Washington, number three, Brianna Baston. And coming out was Kelly Burns. And Portland Sheboygan. Score is 25-18 in favor of Sheboygan. Karras to put the ball in play. Ooh. Tough serve into the net. Coming back in is Kelly Burns. Coming out for Washington is Shannon Greger. And Kramer with a nice attack. And Kramer with the black. Jackie Kramer with some good network there. Washington looking to get some momentum back here. Let's see if Sheboygan keep Ooh, as I speak, they can't really keep it rolling. No. Giving a point to Washington. But it's oh. all right, Sheboygan's still up six. Yeah. 26 to 20. There's Tammy Miller in that serve. He's a solid server. Ooh. With the slip, nice. she still gets the dig. Nice dig by Sheboygan. Another Ooh. nice dig by Sheboygan. But they cannot control it. Sheboygan is getting down in this game. They're getting down to get the digs. Communication skills for UW Sheboygan. And Washington swinging. Harris tries to tap it over. Washington Ooh. picks it up. Oh, Krasinski from Washington takes the swing. Miller gets the bump in. Sheboygan just saved that one. Lefebvre gets it over on the bump. And points Sheboygan. Now that was exciting volleyball right there. That was a good volley back and forth. People going down for the digs, people getting the saves. That's good volleyball right there. And Kramer back of the line. Good serve by Kramer. And Washington has an answer back for that. That girl has a gun there. And she unleashed it right there to give Washington a point. 27-22 favor of Sheboygan. Let's see if they can get a point back here. That was Henning serving. Ooh, uh, dead by Kramer. Oh, just gets that one over. Karras puts that one over. Oh, Krasinski from Washington hits long point, Sheboygan. Score is now 28 to 22. It's Sheboygan's lead. And Sheboygan has a line check to make sure they get the right server in there. A little confusion on their part. Well, Kramer, Jackie Kramer, was serving before the side out. Ah. Then uh, Washington served in. Jackie was going to serve again. She can't serve again. Oh, great. We got this all straightened out now. And she going in the score is another point. At the net, Gabriels puts it over. This would be game point for this game. Let's see if Sheboygan can take the first one. But sure hope so. An ace here would be nice. Ooh. Washington hangs in there. Brianna Baston puts that one down. Coming in for Washington, number 10, Shannon Gregg. Nice dig, nice snap. Puts it over. 
Sheboygan better watch out. The score is now 29 to 24. Wierko just couldn't handle that one, and Kelly Burns comes back in for Washington. Sheboygan got to stop Washington from thinking they have any momentum here. The side out wins the game, wins the, wins this game for Sheboygan. Good set. And that's game. There it is. Harris. Sheboygan. Gets the attack, puts that down. Sheboygan takes the first game out of three. I'm John Wickett. Next to me is Bob Broxma. Stay tuned for the second game of three from UW Sheboygan on TV8 Sports. My dad is a hero. He goes into places normal people want to get away from. He rescues families, makes everyone safe. But the best thing he can do is come home. The U.S. Fire Administration reminds you to protect the heroes who protect our lives. Have a smoke alarm on every floor. Test it monthly. Replace the battery yearly. Do your part to get out before they have to come in. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to game this final match of the triangle match at UW Sheboygan. The UW Sheboygan Women Wombats took the first game out of three against the Washington County. Let's see if they can take this second game and get their first win of the season. I surely hope that they can just finish them off right here. They had the momentum throughout the whole game last game. Washington begins with the serve. Karras into the net. Very aggressive. Sheboygan coming out swinging. That's what you like to see. Ooh. That didn't quite go as planned. No, that looked a little bit unorganized on Sheboygan's side. Let's see if Sheboygan can get it together, get that circle. Set. Beautiful placement. Lefebvre puts it over. Now the tip, now that's a very dangerous play. You, you would be surprised how many times Sheboygan will score off of getting the tips their way. Miracle puts the serve short. Serve set by Kramer and Karras puts it over. Two bodies in one spot for that play. Yes, indeed. And Henning to serve for Washington County. Miller handles the serve. Kramer sets the set and Karras. Puts it down, dug out by Washington. Miller with a nice bump there. Gabriel's clean. She bought even got to set something up in that circumstances. Well, they're playing, they're in the game, they're in the game. Well, I hold the game of streaks, let's see if they can get on their own. And Lyrico puts that one over. Karras sets it. Oh. And with Fever into the net. They had the right idea there. And timeout. Yeah. <laughs> 
Boogie regroups and they're right on the court right away. I didn't mention before that the uh, head coach for Washington is Debbie Butchlick. We have, of course, uh, I don't think we mentioned uh, Coach Penny Maletsky. A lot of it. No, we, we didn't mention that. The Wombats coach at all, I don't believe. Well, now that we have that out of the way, there is Coach Maletsky giving some instruction to the team. See if we can get him back on their streak. And here we go, Washington to serve. Washington has the lead with 6 to 1. Yeah. Bump Kramer with the set. And points to Boygan, put over by Gabriels. I must say that timeout is what they needed. They regrouped and <laughs> look. Gets points back on the board for him. Served by Gabriels. Washington puts it in the net. That's Okrasinski putting it in the net. That's been their hitter so far in the first game. Looks like Sheboygan has been able to handle her until as of recently. Point Sheboygan. Sheboygan has got Washington County on their heels. Let's see how much they can take advantage of it. And as I say that, Gabriels puts the ball into the net. That's always a disappointment when you serve it right into the net, especially in this rally type of volleyball where that counts for a point for the other team. Shannon Gregor came in for Washington County. And a nice attack by Karras for Sheboygan. Set by Kramer, attack by Karras. And set by Kramer. And Tammy Miller pokes that one over. And tipped by Paige Wiracle. Point Washington County. And Mendenhall will serve for Washington County. Shavoy, a little miscommunication in that one. Let's the ball fall in. I'll be honest with you, I really do not know what to say about that play there. I think, I think they're waiting for someone to give them a call and you know, go off the app. Mendenhall puts it over for Washington. Kramer sets it. But Sheboygan comes back right after that play, the fighting for put that back over. And oh, a nice dig by, Ooh. that was a dig by Kramer, I believe. Way to get under that ball. Score four to 10 in favor of Washington. Harris put that back over. Better all the set. And Okrasinski for Washington with an attack. Sheboygan's been able to keep her quiet so far in this game. Lefebvre bump. And Lefebvre with an attack. And Lefebvre gets the attack. Point Sheboygan. Rachel Lefebvre, a uh, setter and a middle hitter, 5'7", first year from Howard's Grove. Hopefully that will be the play that sparks the comeback on the Wombats here. And she will also be serving. And there's an ace. Point Sheboygan. A nice dig there for Sheboygan, set by Kramer, and Miller tries to tap it over. And Kramer scraps for that ball. And they're going to call two hits. I think that was an incorrect call on that one, but we got to go with the official Bump by Kramer, bump by Miller, put over, put over by Wirico. Oh! That's just one of those where the ball just happens to fall where no one is.
Brianna Baston is there for Washington. Nice bump by Wericko. Lefevre put that over, and Sheboygan up with the blockers. Set by Lefevre. And a good attack by Karras. Oh, excuse me, that was Wericko. A good attack by Wericko there. Karras to serve for Sheboygan. Now that's where you see Sheboygan at the best. When they get the nice bump, then they have a nice set to be followed by a nice spike. Sheboygan definitely on the attack. Bob, I think they're onto something. Well, let's hope so. The score now is Sheboygan 8, Washington 13. And Karras to serve. And there's an ace. Now, that is one of the newer rules, I believe, in volleyball this year. Uh, in, in rally, Bob, you, you play the, the uh, serve that comes off the net. Yes. Kramer put it over. Schwoyan had blockers up. Here we go. Up and we are going to tap that over. Long point, Sheboygan. Sheboygan cuts Washington's lead by three. Sheboygan has done well to hold Okrzynski to get no swings at that ball. They've kept on the attack. And Karras just puts that one long. Someone tell her to put the guns away. Okrzynski to serve for Washington. And Side out, Boyd Sheboygan. We just exchanged two long serves. And Miller to serve. And Washington puts it, in, puts it into the net, Boyd Sheboygan. Miller to serve again. Sheboygan has been doing well to cover those tips, and the one just gets by him right there. Washington serves it up. Kramer puts it down. Nobody even around for that one. Jackie Kramer getting that hit. She had really proper. Ball placement on that one. Wow. Let's see if Kramer can pull an ace out here. And Sheboygan is getting close, gonna take the lead here if they can keep this going. And they're on their streak. They do have a commanding presence in this game right now coming back. They Kramer. cut the lead down to one. And the blocker's up for Sheboygan, nice job. Oh, Sheboygan ties it up right there. When you get it done at the net, that makes things a lot easier. And ace point, Sheboygan. Sheboygan definitely has the momentum here. Jackie Kramer, 96% serving last game. So she can add to her numbers this game. Karras tries to put it over hard and ends up putting it in the net. Let's see if Schwoig can bounce back. Washington, that one just out. That tip just fell out of bounds, very close. Over. 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 Over.
Queen is definitely on the attack right now. And they make the right call, that's out. Only Sheboygan. Tying up the game at 17 all. We're going to put the ball in play. Blockers up. Frame with the bump. And Karras again in the net. She's having a little trouble with her swing right now. Washington puts the ball in play. I just hate that when you happen to set the other team. That, that's no fun. No, absolutely not. And boy, did she put that one down in her throats. <laughs> Scores tied up at 18 all. See if she boy can get, get that lead back. Three ball, and Gabriel just takes that one a little too far. Let's see if the Wombats can get back in this game. And... Okay, it was the bump, Kramer with the set, and Okrasinski finally gets swinging, and Coach Mletsky wants a timeout. Hi, I'm Sterling Marley. There's nothing better than great fans who cheer me on in the 40 car. While watching the race, many of our fans like to enjoy a cold beer. And that's okay if you're 21. But if you choose to drink, please do so responsibly. Avoid drinking to excess and never drive drunk. Traffic deaths involving alcohol have fallen on dramatically in the last 20 years. So let's all do a part by drinking responsibly. This message is brought to you by the National Beer Wholesalers Association and this station. Sheboygan is back on the court. Let's see what they got to answer in the latest run by Washington. Swinging, but it's out. Point Sheboygan. Wait, wait, wait. Line judge threw it over to the wrong side. It is one bad ball. Gabriel is to serve. And point Sheboygan. They tie it up at 20 all right now. Let's see if they can take the lead here. Gabriel's yeah. serving well. That almost looked like the same exact play there. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, I want to get to your point. I suppose you don't mind seeing it twice. <laughs> Set for Okrasinski, and she puts it over. Sheboygan swinging. Oh, just out. Coming to the game for Washington County, Shannon Gregor. At the service line would be Katie Mendenhall. Nice dig. Boy, Sheboygan off a nice dig by Karras. That gives Sheboygan a one point lead. Boy, you need eight more points to take the win. Karras puts it over strong and points Sheboygan. Karras struggling a little bit to put the ball over. There she goes to get one over. It really amazes me how much spin goes on this ball. Peter puts it over. Yeah. 
And Sheboygan strong in the net. Four touches for Washington. Gives Sheboygan another point. It's six points away from the win. Let's see Sheboygan get up to the first win of the season. Washington's really strong, but Sheboygan's got an answer. Sheboygan needs to set something up here. That looked a little long and out. Point Washington. Let's see if Sheboygan can get back into this one. Serving Brianna Baston. Set by Kramer. Miller puts that one over. Set by Miller. Hit by Kramer. Kramer up in the net. Kramer sets Miller. Miller taps it over. Sheboygan was not found out of place. In that little volley there. Very Harris. well played. Karras with a big swing on that one. Gets the point for Sheboygan. There she is. We got her swinging again. Let's hope Sheboygan keep up the intensity. And Karras with a long serve. Point Washington. 25 24, favor of Sheboygan. Okrasinski serves for Washington. And Wirico puts that one over for Sheboygan. A nice save. A nice oh. hustle by Sheboygan. Just not enough real estate. Make the gym bigger. a little long, but Schwoyer returns it. Schwoyer taking that one up. Kramer puts that Shibuyen up. Schwoyer somehow pulled that one out. And good work at the net. Oh, Boy, Schwoyer. I believe that was a carry. Wonderful. Schwoyer almost lost it, but they dug down deep down by the net and pulled it out of there. Jackie Kramer has definitely put up a present at the net. And more network from Sheboygan earns them another point. Got to say, nice job to Amy Gabriels. That puts the score at 27, Sheboygan, 25, Washington. On your feet. Oh, what an and easy a, ace that was. A complete miscommunication by Washington. They're just back on their heels. I think Washington was asleep on that one. Kramer again at the net. Jackie Kramer has been controlling that net all game long. This is a very exciting moment. She can pull off their first win. It is game point right here. Sheboygan Wombat women vol women's volleyball team has won the match, taking the first two games. That was a very exciting game, I must say myself. I'm John Wickert. Next to me is Bob Broxma. I'd like to thank our cameraman, Brian Andrews. I'd like to remind you that our officials for the evening's game was Perry Cartier, Dave Dykstra. Side judges were Andrew Stewart and Will Fisher. I'd like to mention to you that the next game will be Wednesday the 5th at 6 p.m. Wednesday, October 5th at 6 p.m. Join us again on TV8 Sports. Till then, so long.